I'm at the house at 8530 Mary Leap in the Estonia subdivision. I'm going to give you a 360 of the neighborhood here. This will be the condition of the home as of the date of this video, which is November 5th, 2015, about 5 p.m. in the afternoon. This subdivision has a community pool and playground. It is located near Petranko Road, near Loop 410. You're also close to Lackland Air Force Base. This house is also on a dead end loop, so you should have low traffic. We got a two car garage here in the front. The garage door opener also has a water softener. The lot size is about 0.38 of an acre, so it is over a third of an acre. The house itself is a four bedroom, two and a half bath. Square footage is roughly 2,723 square feet. Right at the front, we got a nice front uh, porch here. We got beautiful brick and stonework around the uh, house. We'll do a quick layout of the floor plan downstairs before we actually walk it. Right here on our immediate right is the living room. A uh, little bit further down to the right will be half bath, laundry room. Uh, straight to the left will be the kitchen and it goes back towards the dining room, uh, the, the for family room, and all the way back to the left will be the downstairs masters. So we'll do uh, start here at the front. We got beautiful engineered hardwood floors throughout most of the first floor. We also have tall nine foot ceilings and 10 foot ceilings in some areas. So we got nice uh, formal living room here. Nice old fashioned lighting. It's kind of a unique feature there. We also have blinds throughout the home. There's also a lot of uh, closets and storage space. I'm not going to show everything, but there is a lot built in throughout the house. This is your half bath. That's an example. That is a deep uh, storage closet there. That's another closet we're just passing. And then this will be the utility room, the washer and dryer hookups. Right next to that, we have a nice computer nook. You got a desk built in there uh, with granite counters. I uh, get another storage closet there. We have a nice open kitchen, beautiful granite countertops. We have the uh, breakfast nook here. So you see the stools are set up there for an additional eating surface. Nice dark cabinets. We have stainless appliances, including the fridge. Gas stove, which is perfect for people who like to do a lot of cooking. Built-in microwave. Dishwasher. So this is a beautiful open kitchen. Nice tile backsplash and uh, tile detail there. Let me just turn around so you get a perspective here. So that's a good size walk-in pantry also. So very nice open kitchen. This is the formal dining area. See we have the nice tall ceilings here and in the living room here or the family room. This will be a family room area. Got about 10 foot ceilings here. Very good size master bedroom. You can see they had a sitting area set up. Nice tall ceiling against 10 foot in this room. You have room for a king size bed, nightstands on either sides and dressers. So this room is set up perfectly to show you that. The double doors leading to the master bathroom. And lots of detail here. Ceramic tile floors. I believe this is Corian countertops. This is an upgraded countertop, dual sinks and a sitting area. And then you have the nice deep garden tub and additional nice tile detail around the uh, border there. And then you have an extended shower with a built-in seat. Of course we have a commode here with the door for privacy. And then we have a good size walk-in closet. It's about uh, 10 feet by about seven feet. It goes around the corner as well. So you got some good storage space there. OK, 
Okay, let's head outside. Again, the lot size is 0.38 of an acre, so it is uh, over a third of an acre. So you got some of that in the front yard and a lot of it in the backyard. So right here at the uh, back, we have the covered patio, so a good sized patio area. And then it's kind of scanned from left to right. It goes all the way around the right side of the house and wraps around the left side of the house. So we got huge backyard. Some very nice recessed lighting here as well. Okay, let's head upstairs. Upstairs we're going to have three additional bedrooms as well as a loft and a game room. As I get to the top of the stairs, let me do a quick layout of the upstairs floor plan. Right in front of me is the loft area. We have the game room. Let me just walk sideways here so we can point out a little bit better. Around the immediate corner is going to be the second bedroom, game room, third bedroom, the fourth bedroom, and to the left will be the hall bath, the upstairs bathroom. Again, we have tall ceilings here. Uh, it's either nine or ten foot ceilings in the upstairs. I think it's nine foot. Good size uh, loft area here. You can put a computer desk. Again, it uses as a small office space. You also have that computer nook downstairs for the same purpose. Very large game room here. Again, more closets. I'm looking at a closet straight ahead. More storage space. So bedroom number two. Good size here. And the plan is to paint this wall neutral. That is the plan at the current time. Uh, all the bedrooms have good size walk-in closets. So really good use of uh, the floor plan to have good sized rooms as well as good sized closets and then still have your game room um, and loft area. So this is bedroom number three, currently set up as an exercise room, about the same size as the previous bedroom, maybe a little bit bigger. Bedroom number four, this is the largest of the three upstairs bedrooms. So you have some furniture there. And then I'll show this walk-in closet. Again, very good size. And then the hall bath. Got dual sinks, the nice uh, Corian countertops, dark cabinets, and the shower tub enclosure. If you'd like more information about this home or would like to schedule a showing, my name is Mark Fee. My cell number is 210 618 9161. Or you can call the office at Liberty Management 210 681 8080. Thank you.